guest us uh, to have the, just the beautiful honor of being Frank's son. It's a kick in the head. I didn't know my dad cussed <laughs> until uh, he never cussed around me. Swear to God, he never did. He would get mad at his friends for cussing. Can you imagine that? Um, but uh, I, uh, I want to talk uh, about a couple of things. One is organizing is, is a... I learned as a community organizer in Seattle that organizing is the most difficult of all human undertakings. Organizing an event like this is a tremendous amount of work. Long distance organizing is practically impossible. But, but, but Lydia did the impossible. She was a long distance organizer. She lives in Atlanta and she made this happen. She brought us all together and what a beautiful evening we're having. Thank you so very much Lydia for, for making this happen and bringing us all together. My brother Miguel, uh, I was texting him during the show. He got his dream job in Seattle, so do not go to Seattle without letting me or Angela or Lydia know, because my brother will be rolling out the red carpet for you up there. He got his dream job working as a deputy director of El Centro de la Raza, which is the most prominent Latino organization up in Seattle. So it looks like he'll be up there for a while. Uh, and then, of course, uh, uh, two, two brothers are rolling and, and uh, and Lawrence are in Jacksonville, Florida. So don't, we have family in Jacksonville, Florida. And then of course, Sabina and Lydia are in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia with Amanda. And then me, Angela, and Ronnie are holding down the fort here in Albuquerque. And Ron. <laughs> and Ron lives No, no, yeah, me, Angela, and Ron are hold, holding down the fort here in Albuquerque. But um, real quick, my dad uh, wasn't into accolades. He won the uh, Sports Writer of the Year Award like two or three years in a row. He was kind of dominating. <laughs> And then he told them, don't give me the award anymore, guys. Uh, and I have the plaque of the, when he won it three years in a row, and then he never won it again because he never wanted it. Well, now he doesn't have a choice. Now we don't have to ask him. So uh, next year, I'm going to nominate him to be in the New Mexico Sports Hall of Fame. So, uh, so please, uh, please, uh, please give us your, 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 your name, your phone number, your, your mailing address, your email address, because... There's, there's, I don't know, there's trust fund babies out there, Paris Hilton and whatnot. My dad left me with a beautiful legacy of stories and, and relationships and, and, and beautiful uh, history of sports, writing about people. So there's numerous athletes in this state who had a Frank article on their fridge that the grandma put on the fridge. So we want to reconnect with these people that my dad touched, have them uh, help nominate him into the Sports Hall of Fame so that we can honor him that way. So I'll be getting a hold of you guys to write letters on his behalf. And uh, it it's, uh, usually takes like, just like in any sport, you never get in on your first ballot, but hopefully after a year or two or three, we'll get into the Sports Hall of Fame and it'll give us another excuse to throw a big ass party for my dad. So hang out, there's tons of drinks. Our host is the host, uh, this is a fantastic hall to have any event you want. Uh, and we want to thank you, Billy Moya Jr. for hosting us. Thank you very much, give him a hand. So, uh, so the bar is open. Please, uh, please go to the. There's some beautiful items to uh, to bid on, and we'll go back to the raffles in a few more words. And just thank you all. I love you very, very much. Thanks, guys.